Hello brain lovers, Gregory here from the Brain Academy. Now the other day I had a whole conversation with a student of mine that I just have to share with you guys. So it was one of those glorious moments in life where brain science gets applied in daily life and help solve a potentially tricky and even explosive situation. It all started with dirty socks. I kid you not. The brain science behind dirty socks. Really? Seriously? Ah, I love it. Don't ask me how and don't ask me why, but this student and I, we ended up having this discussion about socks. More precisely, dirty socks. I am assisting you with your sock change. So you might have had this kind of discussion as well at one point or another in your life, you know? The kids, uh, your partner or yourself, when you undress in the evening, you just leave your socks, your dirty, smelly socks hanging around in your room. What, do I do that? Where's my lawyer? You usually get like one phone call, right? I want my lawyer! So the student, and just to make clear, she's a wonderful person. If you're watching, you know who you are. So the student went on a rant about how she felt she was being disrespected by her partner and kids when they leave things, smelly and dirty things, hanging around in the house. This includes clothing and toys and basically everything that isn't in its place. So I said, look, I agree. I believe it's a good thing not to have things hanging around in the house. And me too, I want to live in a nice house, you know, where everything is orderly and properly organized. Well, the end table is wrong, and the couch looks bizarre, and don't even get me started on the refrigerator magnets. I agree with you on that. So I'm going to help you work on that with the kids and with your partner and everything. However, don't make this about you. At no point, no one in your house is disrespecting you. You take it as a personal offense when it's not. Your son is not leaving his jacket on the floor because he disrespects you, but because he's in a world of his own and he doesn't notice what he's doing. And your partner's dirty socks are not a personal attack on you. The only reason why you're so upset with his socks is because, and she never told me about this, it was just a wild guess. It's because you, when you were a kid, your parents were upset when you were leaving your socks hanging around. And today, when you see socks hanging around, on a non-conscious level, your brain remembers about the times your parents got angry at you. Watch what your hangers doing in this closet! Answer me! And it activates your stress response. So you get angry because, and you're not conscious about it, but because those socks are linked to the anger of your parents. And you feel threatened by that, by their anger. That's why today you feel threatened and react like that at the sight of dirty socks. So she went silent. She looked at me and went, you know what? My mum, she used to throw my socks away in the garbage if I would leave them hanging around. All of this is coming out! Out! Please. Out! I just scored a bullseye. I didn't know about this. Brain science is so cool. So I said, and you know what? Probably your mother got angry because of her mother who did the same to her and her mother before her and, and so on. This thing is an intergenerational issue that might even date back to the 15th century for all we know, right? So we had a good laugh. We agreed that this was not about disrespecting her. And if she felt anger, it was because of her education. Having said that, there's absolutely nothing wrong with educating your kids and teaching them not to leave their stuff hanging around, or your partner. <laughs> On the contrary, discipline and above all self-discipline are one of the greatest gifts parents can teach their children. Shut up! You see, the reason why I wanted to share this anecdote with you is because it explains so well how we believe, firmly believe, certain things and can really get upset about these. When in fact, we're just running non-conscious scripts and these are dominating our lives, creating like tension and misunderstanding, when in fact, these scripts are not even about us. We've inherited them from our parents or, or our teachers or, or just society as a whole. Control your children or I'll whip them till the blood runs from their backs. Children are spoiled and indulged and need lessons in obedience. We've internalized these expectations. We've made them our own and made it about ourselves. You're disrespecting me. No, I'm not. You know, I'm sorry you think about that, but that's on you. You choose to believe that. You see, we don't see the world as it is, but as we are. We project on others what's inside ourselves. Dirty socks aren't a threat. But linked in her non-conscious memory with her angry mother, suddenly these socks became a threat. 
Oh my gosh, if those socks remain there, my mother is gonna get angry at me again. I might even get grounded. Well, on a non-conscious level. And then our conscious mind builds a rationale around the emotion we feel boiling up. This fight stress. So we go, I'm angry because, because you, you disrespect me. No, I'm not. You're angry because you're scared. Your mom's gonna punish you again, which she won't <laughs> because you're an adult now. So you don't need to get angry anymore. You can free yourself from that choice. The problem is choice. So once we're aware of that, we can choose. We can get angry at each other for emotions we feel for things that happened maybe even 40 years ago or more. Or we can leave the irrational anger behind, look at the situation at hand and take the fully conscious decision that we'd rather live in a clean house with everything well organized and act upon that. Things are about to change around here. You see, this is hardcore NBA. If you're not familiar with the Brain Academy, NBA stands for Neurocognitive and Behavioral Approach. It's one of the models we use and it's really great stuff. By the way, we're going live with our first group coaching session, which will be on the NBA actually, on the 21st of January that is. So that's a members only event. So you need to be a member of the Brain Academy at brainacademy.com. Or you have to join us, it's pretty cool stuff. So have you been able to identify things you're getting angry about, which really come from your education and your parents? Share in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We have new episodes of this vlog coming out every week. And if you want the real stuff, you go to brainacademy.com. You join our 300,000 students and start using your brain better. Brain out. Sharpen your mind.